Hello everyone, my name is Boku Satsu and today we're here to do a brand new video. Today I'm going to review Common Rider Tycoon. Yes. Kewa Sakura Kewa Sakura Kewa or Kewa Sakura. My favorite character in Geats. I love this man so much. I, I like I like I like Kewa. I like a character. I do support Sarah too. Leave me alone about that. <laughs> the Sarah Nation will grow stronger in due time. I anyway <laughs> anyway uh I'm here with uh with Ninja Boy. So yeah, so yeah today so yeah today we're here to review the Comrade Comrade Tycoon Ninja Buckle figure art. And oh boy I got a lot of things to say about it. good, a few bad, but more good than bad. First off, this figure is premium bandai. And uh, I want to say if if you if you can't find him in aftermarket, well I'm sorry, but uh, I really do hope that uh, you could find him in IRL because I know that finding premium Bandai figure in your location isn't that hard. Hell, if it's hell, that easy for Dragon Ball collector, Commodore should get the same treatment. Just saying. And anyway, yeah, uh, Tycoon's here now. I want to point I want to point this out. I, I, I love this suit, but uh, this this color green is the wrong type of color green because the shell is a more darker green. Here, it felt like in early development they uh had they had no idea what type of color green they had in the shell because okay, here's the box right. This color green is the correct color green from the shell from the show suit of, of Tycoon, of Tycoon, of Tycoon here. This color, this color right here, the wrong color. Now, I'm gonna guess that uh, Tamashi couldn't find the correct color or they're just being lazy. I'm hoping that they weren't being lazy, but uh, moving alongside from that, moving alongside from from the inaccurate color, this figure is really cool to play around with. So let's go. So let's go on to talk about artic. Art, sorry, let's go on to talk about articulation. So this is how far he goes up, by the way, for his arms. Oh yeah, want to be careful of these shurikens because these are really sharp and pointy. Trust me, I know idea how many times I strop his hands out and these almost cut me. So this, so this is how far he go from here to here. To here and to here. <sighs> and yes, he does pose pretty well. Ooh. You gotta be careful, those things are sharp. Boom! Kick in the face. <laughs> but yeah, I was say his legs are his, his legs are really easy to pose around with. Oh, this guy, this guy is this this guy already already is a contender for this year for top ten figure of the year. Yes, I will be making a video about that, and uh, that video, I want to change the format this time for how I do that video. Cause last year was kind of weird how I make it. But yeah. Yeah, I. But yeah, this guy, this guy already is a top ten contender for this year. Oh, this guy's so fucking good. Any poses you could do with him is really good. I will say he is a little bit limited due to due to his chest pieces right here. But at the same time, that makes sense because the suit actor, the suit actor. I'm gonna guess. Well, to be fair. To be fair, Tycoon suit actor in the show is Dean Decker Briggs and Comrade Cross suit actor. Fun fact, he actually is, and also he's the same suit actor that played Comrade Blaze and Saber, and also he also played Comrade Vice and Well Revice. So yeah, Tycoon share the same suit actor as a few of my favorite secondaries and one of my favorite six Rangers. And uh two and uh two other Raywa characters. Also his suit actor appeared in the show too. <laughs> for those for those who don't know, you got do you guys remember the freaking Kamara that had that had like a dog helmet 
yeah, uh, that was, that was, that, that was Tycoon Suit Actor, who got killed by Buffa. A fun little fact. Now you're welcome. But anyway, uh, yeah, his, yeah, his leg, his, his legs are really good. I love this thing. This is, uh, this is a really good figure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my mind, so I'm sorry that I'm gushing about why I love this toy. Please forgive me. But, uh, this is a really good figure. Can't stop playing. I cannot stop playing with him. Not whatsoever. Alright, so. Now, on to, now, on to his, well, accessory. They come with a lot of accessories. Now, unfortunately, I will not be doing the frick. Sorry. Unfortunately, I will not be doing the uh, swapping mechanic because, well, the pictures I did of him does not have that. I did not do that because, well, I'm too scared. Also, I, I'm just too lazy. I, 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 will, I will be doing swapping pictures in the future. This is Alexa, annoying. turn off. Sorry about that. I forgot I told her, I forgot I put my dog on her to do something for me. But anyway, he has a uh, he has his helmet for the entry form. I don't have the entry form unfortunately, so I will be using this. And uh this and, and this is also for the entry form. It's the mouthpiece for this. Just to uh, be just to clarify. Here's another uh, piece. Here's another. Uh, here's another uh, piece to his helmet right here. But uh, this one's for Geets and Buffer. I love it. And here we have well, one of my, well, my favorite part of the accessory, his giant ass sword, or well. I should, I should probably should have done that, but uh, yeah, it's blades. I love this. I I love this. I love this. This is, this is, this is one giant ass sword. Also, I love the little, I love the little feature it has of the spinning thing right here, the disc. I love that. I, I love, I love the little feature they did there. But yeah, this is uh, I love this is a really cool accessory. I took so many pictures with Kawa using this giant sword. And uh you'll see them you'll see them when I do it. Some in half in half in half in uh mini dagger forms, but uh other other than giant sword form. Here we have two here we have two damn it. Here we have two ninja pose hands for well ninja boy right here. We we also have oh excuse me excuse me my windows open. We also have his hand we also have his well his hands well his grab hands for his weapons his holding hands I'm trying to say. What the fuck is that bird doing out there? Anyway, here we have it. You can kind of say relax hands. But at the same time, I mostly see these as. Yeah, yeah, no, you know. These, you know, these, you know, these are mostly his nunny hands. Or his shocked hands, you want to say. When he's like, nunny! And here we have his relax hands. The hands that are so basic for every Kamurai figure. Oh yeah, I have this piece too, but I had no idea what this is. So I, so I probably won't be using it. I think buff. I think my buff will come with this too. I gotta go back and check. But uh, yeah. And those are his uh, accessories. Now on to size comparison. You don't have a lot to compare with because, well, I was too lazy to get more figures out. So here it is with with Geats. Hi, you gotta love it. The primary and secondary. And here's the extra. If I not say as the buffer to secondary, no, it's Tycoon. Toby confirmed it since day one. The Geats boy. Oh, I love this. 
I'm getting my Nago next month because, well, I pre ordered her from Premium Banner US and uh, Japanese release coming out this month, yes, but uh, but uh, I, decided, I, I decided to support the official US release for her, so I'll be getting her next month in September, so yay for that. But yeah, this is uh, this line is really good. I cannot wait for Naga to get here. Here we have live. Here we have Metal Cluster Hopper. Yeah, I have Metal Cluster Hopper. I just don't. I will get. I will get. I will get to the time to review him and take pictures. I just been too busy with, with other figures. Oh, great! God damn it, zero one. Say what you want to say about Zero One, but uh, I cannot. We can both cannot lie. Those suits are probably the best part of the whole show. Right next to, right next to our boy Fua. All right, dang, he's standing pretty well. He's standing pretty well with both of them, including uh, well, including live. Here he is with for SA figure Ultraman Z. The base form of Z, just wanna clarify. And here he is with the Sinkoku Seiho Kamarider Rising Dragon Kruger. Ooh. My next review basically my 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 next, my next review Damn it, I'm I'm hitting stuff everywhere today. My next review is Gonna be on Kruger here. Then I'll do Buffer last. Don't worry, I will give Buffer his comeuppance, his time when I get to the video because well, I got a lot of things to say about that figure. Good and bad. But anyway, here he here he is standing right next to Zed and Kruger. Oh boy, Kruger looks so good. What? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's wonderful. <laughs> So, what are my thoughts? Well, I love this guy. I love this guy. I did talk about. I did talk about in the beginning that uh, his that uh, uh, you your hands your hands will hurt if you if you pro okay while dropping out his hands. Be careful with these because these are really sharp. These are these are both very really sharp and uh, they can bleed your hand. To death, so you want to be very careful with that, and also be very gentle with uh, with uh, swapping his hand pieces, because if you don't, this can pluck this. This will definitely break that easy. Luckily, my copy didn't suffer that, and that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, it could. But yeah, it could happen, and uh, we don't want that. But overall, yeah, see, that could happen. That could happen. You got to be nice and gentle with, with how you put that in.
overall, move aside that uh, his shurikens are so easy to break. This figure itself, yeah, by far, by far, in my opinion, out of the main three, it's the best geek figure from the whole line. I might be biased due to the fact that KY is my favorite character from Geats, but move aside from that, he posed pretty well. His articulation doesn't hinder hinder posability. The shurikens are annoying because they are so easy. They are so easy to pop out, and you want to be careful with that. He comes with a lot of good accessories, and uh, you can get you can get him in a lot. You can get him, you can also get him into like a lot of crazy poses like this. And still have a fun ass time with him. Again, this figure is Premier Bandai, but uh, let's be honest, we both know that uh, we both know that won't affect you from finding this guy in in real in real to in IRL. So moving on, so moving so moving on for that. If you like this, if you like this review, please like, comment, subscribe, follow my, all my social media description, including my Twitch. I stream both Tuesday and Wednesday. I will go back to streaming eventually very soon. Um, like, lately, I've been feeling pretty. I've been feeling pretty down about streaming. I don't know. My energy is not fully. My energy not fully back from recovering from streaming all of July. So, I will. I will be. Yeah, follow my Twitch. <laughs> It'll be in the description as well. And follow all my social media as well. And um, yeah, thank, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my. Follow all my social medias in the. I did that. Hey, please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description, clear my Twitch, and uh, yeah, put the no put the notification button off for, for my next video, which will probably be on uh, well, Mister No Fear, No Pain himself. Yeah, put the notification button off for my next video. Subscribe to the channel. Your boy, your boy's goal, your boy's goal this year to hit well a thousand so and with you guys help. I can do that. And yeah, guys, that's all. My name is Aaron. Enjoy the pictures. I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye.